Hello everyone, this is Lloyd from the Airgun Lab. Today we're going to be looking at a fairly common method of securing the valve inside the air tube of an air gun. And here's the valve. These three little screws are what hold the valve into the air tube. Now you can see one of the screw heads right here. Now, when the air gun is pressurized, 2,000 psi of air in it, all that air pushes onto this valve and tries to push it out the back of the gun. Now when you fill it up with 2,000 psi of air, you've actually got about 880 pounds of force trying to shear these three little screws off and push the valve out the back. If you accidentally overfill it to 3,000 psi, you've got over 1,300 pounds of force trying to shear these screws off and push the valve out the back. Day. I've made some test specimens that are secured in exactly the same way as the real valve. You got one, two, three. This is the tube. The testing we're going to do, we're going to push on this end of the aluminum and see what it takes to push this through to break whatever's going to break here or whatever's going to give. So we'll see what happens. All right, here's our test setup. At the bottom, you can see that red bottle jack. It's a two-ton bottle jack. There's a pressure gauge up here at the top, which reads the pressure, the hydraulic pressure inside here. So if we're pushing up with a thousand pounds of force, you've got one square inch this dial is going to read 1,000, so it will read directly in how many pounds of force that this piston is seeing. This piece is going to follow along with the bottom, and this travel indicator will show us how much deflection we're getting. Okay, we've got our specimen set up. Go ahead and pressurize this to go ahead and take the slack up. All right, we're at a thousand pounds. Zero in on the dial indicator. Get where we can see everything. We're going to go ahead and increase the force, see what happens. 880 pounds is what the gun sees. 2,000, 3,000, 3, little movement. Hmm, something happened right there. Pressure dropped. Hmm, okay. There we go. It's failing. Okay. Now it failed. Not too spectacular. Movement. Pressure dropped off. Pump this up a little more. See what happens. Ooh, here we go. So we'll take it apart and see what it looks like. It failed at about 3,000 pounds of force. This screw right here. If you can see that hole right through the middle of it. Yeah. where the bottom of the uh, 
Phillips head part is. Out. We're going to try and break this loose. It's jammed up. So we're going to pull it apart. You can see this screw right here. It's bent. Probably it may not be bent that much. The aluminum may be deformed. The threads on the aluminum because the pressure was this way. So this is Lloyd from the Airgun Lab. Uh, thank you.